Hello guys, my name is Joe and welcome back to the How to Build a Bitcoin Mine series. In this episode, we're going to be talking about networking gear and then how I ran an Ethernet cable from my house out to my garage. But the first thing I want you to do is check out the first episode if you have not seen it already. It's going to explain all the plans and details about this project. Alright guys, so this depends on the miner that you're going to be using, but for the N miner L3 pluses that we are going to be using, they require an ethernet cable to be plugged in the front of them. Now you can use a Wi-Fi receiver and run an ethernet cable from that to the Antminer L3 Plus, but if you have any connection issues at all, you're going to be losing money. So having an ethernet cable run directly from your router out to the Antminers is uh, going to be vastly superior. So my router only had four ports on the back of it, and of course we're not going to run a wire for each Antminer L3 Plus out to my garage. So I went ahead and purchased a network switch. Now basically this is a power bar for the internet. So you run one cable out to this, you plug it in any of the ports and anything else that you plug in will automatically be connected to your router. So when the electrician came over and installed an ethernet cable underground from our house to our garage, they didn't actually terminate the cables. So I went ahead and bought this kit off Amazon and this allows you to finish off the ends of an ethernet cable just like this one here. It's actually easier than you think, and I show you how to do it later in this video, so stay tuned. So that's all I have to say to intro this video. Let's go and install the gear and I'll show you how. Alright guys, so here we are in the basement. Uh, this is where all the networking gear is, so I am going to try and install the ethernet cable where this hole in the wall is currently, uh, just so that I don't have to punch another hole in the wall to install this thing. So guys, when the electrician was here, I asked him if he could run a ethernet cable down to our basement as well through the underground line. So it comes in through here and uh, just terminates in this dark closet here. So we got some ethernet cable right here. The idea is we're gonna feed it through the wall over to our networking gear. So I took this apart and found that it's uh, too big and there's a stud behind it that I can't actually mount into. So the next thing I'm gonna go to is this one in the corner here. All right guys, so you can probably see it's kind of dark, but uh, this is what the cable looks like coming through. Now we're not using this, so if I take a wrench to this piece here, I should be able to push the cable through and reuse this hole. It's a little dark, but as you can see, this uh, cable connects right here, and if I take that off there, we're not using this part, so I can just push the cable through and uh, use it later if we need it. And so for now, I'm gonna push it through, pull mine through. This will fit on here perfectly and we'll be able to use this hole. All right, with a screwdriver, some pliers, a wrench, I got it through. Woo. Alrighty, so we got the cable through. Now I'm looking at our faceplate here and the hole doesn't quite line up for us to get this on properly. So I'm gonna have to cut this hole and make it just a little bit bigger to fit this square piece. Alrighty guys, so with the flat head screwdriver, I just knocked out a slightly bigger hole. I didn't think this hole was big enough to uh, need a drywall uh, saw. So I just used this uh, big old flat head right here, knocked it through a little bit lower and now our face plate fits perfectly. I'll give you an update. Alrighty guys, so the wall adapter is in and on the other side of the wall I actually have to terminate the CAT6 cable and then uh, this plug should be live for plugging Ethernet into. Alrighty guys, sorry if the lighting's a little bad, I am just in a basement. Um, so this is the Ethernet cable, luckily it's long enough that it comes out of the closet and I can show you guys how to terminate an end of a cable. Now, this is actually my first day doing it, so please don't judge. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to strip the cable. Okay, and then you just go in a circle, pull off. So there we go. Now this is outside cable, so it's actually quite dunky on the inside. Uh, it's to protect the wires from any erosion or sun. Looks a little bit white like this. It's kind of gross. So next thing I'm going to do is untwist these wired pairs here and uh, degunk them a little bit. Alright, so the hardest part of doing this is done, but would be untwisting the twisted pairs. It hurts the fingers quite a bit actually. So I'd recommend taking like a paper towel 
and using that to cushion while you twist. So now we're gonna put them in order according to a chart that is on screen right now. Then we're gonna trim them and put them in a connector. So I believe they're all in order now. I've straightened them a little bit with my fingers and I am just going to trim them to the correct length and then we're gonna put them in a connector. Okay, so they're all in order. They're all the same length. Now we push it into the connector. All right, so they're pushed into the connector now. I am just gonna double check that the order is correct. Order is correct. So now we got our crimper here into the crimper. One and two for good measure. Looks good to me. Now there's a little bit of extra here just because I'm uh, not very good at this so far. So I'm going to wrap that in some electrical tape um, just to make it a little safer. And there you are. Terminated connector. Now that goes into the back of the wall socket we just put in. And I'm going to go terminate the other end in my garage. Right there it is guys. It took me like 10 attempts actually to get this hooked up properly. But now we have a port in the wall. The tester is located inside and uh, all lights are green so we are good to go. Here we are the next morning so the plug is terminated and now the next thing I'm going to install is this network switch at the back wall here where our miners are going to be going. This is our network switch, let's just open it up here. So the basic idea behind this is that each Bitcoin miner that we have or Litecoin miner needs an Ethernet port hooked into our router. So uh, this is kind of like a breakout switch. You can think of it as like a uh, power strip for the internet. I looked at the instructions here and it actually tells us nothing about mounting, but I noticed these little crosses on the back and that appears to be where uh, some screw heads would go in, uh, the backs of the screw heads on the wall. So I'm just gonna measure the outside of this and then screw them into the wall. Still need to decide how I'm gonna orient this thing, but uh, I'll show you guys in a minute. Okay, so I think I've decided I'm gonna mount it right about here in line with there. Uh, there's gonna be some conduit running across there, so I wanna stay out of the way of that. And um, also have this thing near to the power so I can plug it in. So it's mounted, I'm gonna have to clean up this wall a bit, it's kind of a mess in here. But uh, this is mounted, now I'm just gonna run a wire from here to here, make sure that it's working with the tester and plug this in, see if it is responding as well. Alrighty guys, so back in the basement here, um, as you can see, I've got the tester hooked up through the wall and onto the end of this blue cable here. But we don't need a cable that long to go from there to the back of there, so I'm gonna be using one of these. Right, so we're back outside. Now obviously I'm gonna neaten this cable up. I'm gonna tie it along the floor probably, up the side of there, along the edge, tie it to the wall. And we're over at our box now. As you can see, it is flashing, so it's connected. As you can see, we've got two lights on. That means we have a full one gigabit connection running out to our garage now, which is absolutely awesome. All right guys, so that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'm really glad we got our networking gear in now, and I am so excited for where this project is going.